Do you like what I'm wearing? It's an original. I designed it myself. Okay, I didn't design it myself. But a lot of companies don't design the clothes that they sell either. Places like Forever 21 have stores and malls all over the country that specialize in carrying clever copies of more expensive designer clothing. How do they do it? Can you actually copyright clothing designs or not? This video will take about five minutes to answer that question for all of you fashion designers and all of you people who want to rip off fashion designers out there. Hey there, my name is Katrina and I'm from New Media Rights. We're a nonprofit legal clinic that helps artists and business people understand legal issues. Since whether or not clothing can be copyright protected is a legal question, that means that there's one general rule and then a million exceptions to that rule. The general rule is that clothing is not protectable by copyright law. First of all, remember that copyright laws exist to give artists incentive to create so that the public can benefit from their art. The idea is that creators get temporary rights to their work, but then other people can add on to these creations to benefit the world. Now, if you've watched the previous videos, you'll also remember that things like facts and functional language cannot be protected by copyrights. Functional language cannot be copyright protected because that would prevent people from writing things like cookbooks and instruction manuals where there's only one way to actually describe something. Facts cannot be copyrighted because that would keep you from being able to write about anything. Okay, I can tell you're getting impatient. Don't worry, this relates to the question of copywriting clothing. So, somewhere along the line, courts decided that clothing is as functional as facts and functional language. Now, you may put a lot of work into designing a really great looking pair of jeans. But the basic purpose of jeans are to cover up your body and prevent you from being naked. Basically, nothing functional can be copyrighted, and courts decided that the functionality of clothing outweighs how pretty it is. Even creative clothing like Halloween costumes are probably unprotectable. Again, no matter how scary and or sexy you want to look, it still has the basic function of keeping people from calling the police on you for walking around naked. Moving on, let's talk about exceptions to this general rule. Exception one, there are some elements of clothing that can be protected by copyright. If a certain feature of an article of clothing can exist independently of that article, then it can be copyrighted. Okay, that doesn't quite clear it up. Here's an example. Think of a t-shirt with a cool drawing on it. That t-shirt isn't copyrightable, but the drawing is. Basically, if you can remove an element and conceivably put it in an art gallery, then it's probably copyrightable. If a detachable portion of your belt buckle is so cool looking that you could convince others to look at it in a gallery when not attached to a belt, then that part of the buckle might be protectable. Exception two. You know what can be protected by copyright? Fabric prints. Which kind of goes back to my t-shirt example. A cool drawing on a t-shirt and a print on a dress you designed both meet the minimum requirements for copyright. Fixation, expression, and originality. Exception three. Clothing can also be protected by trademark and patent law under certain situations. Patent law only protects clothing when someone comes up with some kind of new or novel clothing design that solves a problem that nobody's ever thought of before. If you made a military camouflage vest that made soldiers invisible, then you could get a patent on that. You can't just patent a pair of socks that you knitted yourself. Trademark law exists to protect against people who try to confuse customers into thinking they're buying something they're not, like counterfeits. Sometimes a design can get trademark protection if it's so well known and associated with a specific designer that makes it. As you might have guessed, the laws are complicated. And you know what? You only get trademark protection after you start advertising and selling your products. 
So if you are an awesome new designer and your bold new take on capri pants gets popular, by the time you are eligible for trademark protection, your clothing may already be out of style or someone may have already copied it. Bummer. Speaking of clothing, you have exquisite taste in it, I can tell. If you can afford to buy such nice clothes, why don't you consider making a donation and help us keep making these videos? You can do it on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. You know you want to. Walking around naked. Walking around naked. 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 Naked.